A popular Netflix show helps a classic board game make a comeback. The Queen's Gambit centers around a young woman's skyrocketing chess career. The assistant manager of a Rockford business tells Michelle Rave the show's attention has chess boards flying off the shelves. Netflix's limited series, The Queen's Gambit, is having many people say checkmate. It's become one of the most watched shows for the streaming service. Yeah, we just had um, a new sophomore join, and one of her primary hooks was she mentioned uh, watching the show. Eric Serwin has been the chess coach at Guilford High School for seven years. He says the team has grown over the years. I think the biggest draw is just that there is a direct relation between the work you put in and the work you get out. You know, everything you learn in chess, if you know one thing more than your opponent, you're, you're just going to win. And so the more you learn, the more you win, and it goes back and forth. The team is now playing chess online, but the interest is still there. Being pushed inside and being pushed, you know, to socially distance activities, uh, chess has really emerged as something that's, you know, readily available to everyone. And then, of course, with Netflix and uh, The Queen's Gambit, the show is just, you know, driving interest through the roof. Sales for chess-related items are up 300 percent, and stores like Hobby Town are seeing a boom. I feel like I, we sell more than double than last year, um, but, I mean, I've been here almost 10 years, and, and you can you kind of see that demand, so you know what people ask for, kind of what years. Um, and I feel like chess has been very popular this year. And it's not just chess. There's a new demand for many retro games. Chess is super popular. Um, other board games just back when we were kids. So ch uh, checkers, um, Operation, Monopoly, um, really any, any of those board games. So puzzles, again, puzzles have been super popular as well. Those are flying off the shelf too. It just comes down to there's nothing to do. You can't go out. You can't go anywhere. Um, everything is shut down and it, people are wanting to do things together. So they're just wanting to do things together as a family. Reporting in Rockford for your home team, I'm Michelle Ravick.